Hello, hello, hello. There we go. Okay, so for some reason, Okay, let's see again. Okay, for some reason, hello, it didn't hello, seem to be hello. working the stream that is. There we go. Uh, close this one. It seems to be working now, never mind. Well, uh, let's see. So, where were we? Well, I am rebuilding this. The menu changed a little bit to this, you know. Uh, the 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 links themselves are not working yet uh, because I don't have the routes yet, you know. Uh, let's see. Let's complete the the drop down menu. And probably this could be its own uh, partial. At this time, I'm not going to bother automating this because there are very few galleries anyway. Uh, but I gather that um, I can enclose all of this in a partial and uh, specifically this section here uh, where all the actual uh, galleries are going to be rendered at, all of this will be um, inserted inside a for loop with EES, you know. At this time, I'm just going to make all static anyway. I don't need this. I don't need, I don't need that one. Uh, okay, let's see the actual links. Comunidad and Casa. Okay. Uh, wait. Why does it say Comunidad? Uh, okay. Let me see here. Okay, so one is called, uh, wait a minute, I, I see Comunidad Dash Infantil. Let me see. But in the actual links, let me see the links. Instalaciones, that's the first one. Okay, I got that one. Galerias Comunidad, that's the actual name, okay. So this is not like that. And the next one should be Casa, okay. And, oh wait, no, just Instalaciones. This should be Comunidad. And this is Casa. Okay, I just copy pasted the last one. It's going to be uh, maybe tire in the future, you know. I, I'm going to say <coughs> musica. Hmm. Mm, does musica have a tilde? Yeah. And I'm not going to change my keyboard just for that one. There we go. Okay, musica. There we go. Looks pretty nice. I really like it. Okay. And we just keep continuing with copy pasting and stuff, you know. The next one should be yoga. Yoga, yoga fire. Yoga fling. There we go. Okay, activation is the next one. Mm-hmm.
I think it looks pretty good. It's not too invasive. Uh, ambiente externo. Oh, wait. Yeah, I needed to copy this one first. Copy this later. And I forgot uh, what's the name of the link. Uh, eh, ambiente. In the end, these are going to be not a static files, not a static content rendering. This is going to be um, dynamic gallery rendering, basically. Uh, okay, ambient externo. Escuela para padres. Okay, that's the next one. No. No. Okay. And the last one, I guess, will be this one here. There we go. Maybe I should rename this endpoint to something more adequate, you know? Uh, maybe uh, Escuela Padres will be? Will be the right thing to do? Yeah, renaming the, the actual endpoints to something uh, that reflects, uh, well... Mm. I guess I don't really like to make uh, really long URLs. So maybe single word links should be should be the right thing to do here. Maybe I don't know. Uh because that will imply that I need to write here. Say you know what? Uh maybe a single word will be enough right now. Because escuela uh, translates back to a school. And it's not really the school uh, gallery here. It's actually uh, Escuela para Padres means uh, a school for parents. Mm, yeah, I think I'm going to be more descriptive. So here, I'm going to say, you know what? This gallery should be named Comunidad Dash Infantil. Here, Casa Niños. Música, Yoga, Activación Física. Ambiente externo. Escuela Padres. This, uh, this, these names for the endpoints should be more descriptive, a little bit longer, but uh, they are very de pretty descriptive. They work. Uh, now what I need to do. What, what happened? Let me see, something happened. This, uh, okay, never mind. Uh, now, I would like to rename some of these links on the rest of the page, not here. Uh, if I go back here, uh, there are some links on the Galleria page that are not going to work anymore. I need uh, dash comunidad infantil here. Casa niños here. Música, yoga, activación física. Uh, ambiente externo. Uh, escuela dash. Uh, padres. And I believe that should be it. Let me see. Okay, I have the entire uh, drop down menu done. That's that's great. Uh, this is the one that takes me here. There we go. 
Antis Endpoints, comunidad infantil, casa de niños, música con los padres, ambiente externo, galería, activación física, yoga. Ok, so all the links to the galleries are done. I wonder if I had links to other galleries somewhere else. I, I do, I, I vaguely remember. Ok, let me see, maybe here. There, there we go. Yeah, these endpoints are not going to work anymore. I need to refactor those to this one here. Uh, image gallery. Okay, so probably I should add a uh, tier just as a as a as a gallery here because it doesn't re uh, even though I don't have picture for that one yet. I may like to have them just in case, uh, because it's, it's going to be the obvious choice to basically add a new gallery here for this educational level, which is new, you know? Okay, so I need to open, what's the name of that view? Tayer. Let's say tire, for example. Let's open tire. At the very end. There we go. I have a couple. Uh, actually, I do have already here the proposal for the new gallery. Let's go back to navigation. And just below Casa de los Niños. I like to add tire. And it's going to be called Galeria Taller. And now I do have my, it's going to appear down below Casa de los Niños. And there it is, Taller. You see? Uh, maybe I should add the age range. You know? Just as the others, as the other educational levels are, you know? Like this. You see? This endpoints doesn't exist yet. We are going to be working on that. Uh, this is Taller, okay. Okay, the endpoint is there, but uh, the, there is nothing there. There is no route, there is no view, nothing to render, you know. And this link will point at Taller. But now, Casa de los Niños is broken because it only reads Casa, so I need to Open Casa Niños y Yes. Go to the bottom. Casa de Niños. Casa de Niños. Keeping the same nomenclature for naming is really important. There is a link to some to something else here. You see. What's this? Uh, that's, what's that? This is Casa Niños. Is there another link to somewhere else? Yes. Comunidad is that one. Mm. Maybe I should remove the picture. Or ah oh, no, it's it's for the it's the link. Uh, but I never updated it, so I guess. There we go. And the same case must be where the same issue must appear somewhere else on the on the rest. Uh, this is Casa Niños, Comunidad Infantil must be just the same. There we go. Uh, Galerías Comunidad Dash Infantil. Comunidad Dash Infantil. Dash Infantil. There we go. That should be it. And now Taller. What is Taller? Uh, taller up here should say Taller. There we go. Uh, the refactoring process for the re for Comunidad Infantil is done. Let's just check it out. Double check Comunidad Infantil. Galerías Comunidad Infantil. They don't exist yet. But they, uh, the links are there. And the second 
the views are ready and the routes are ready and the model is ready and the controller is connecting everything. That moment, all of these links are going to be uh, true in the end. There is something here. What's that? Okay. Oh, yeah. This is the page, the Facebook page. Okay. I wonder if, uh, by the way, let me see if I got any notifications. Never mind. Okay, let's see. So this is the main menu, basically this. Uh, and I guess that um, I may like to set this drop down menu with a highlight, maybe, maybe not. Maybe this is just enough. Yeah, I, uh, too much work. And I need to get uh, quicker. I need to deploy this this week. Because I do have a deadline now. <laughs> I do have nine more days to work on this project alone. Um, let's keep going, I guess. I think so. Okay, so uh, let me see what I'm missing. Not missing much. Uh, Comunidad Infantil is done. Mm, there are the videos there. Uh, link done, Comunidad Infantil, Casa Niños, Música, Escuela Padres, Ambiente Externo, Activación Física, Yoga, Relaciones. Okay, so everything seems to be just fine. Let me double check this. Galería. Galería. Oh, it's called Gallery. Maybe I should rename this. It doesn't reflect the truth. Let's go back to... Where is Galería? There we go. Just delete the yes, you know. There we go. Now it reflects. Uh, it's actually with a tilde there. Maybe I should. There we go. Ding. There we go. That's nice. Okay, so. There we go. Really nice. So now I can I can say that I just refactored the entire thing up to this point, and now I can actually start working on the actual galleries now. Can we do that? What I'm going to be working next is this on this view here. I'm going to recreate this view, um, trying to apply what my wife worked on a year ago. So maybe we'll go back here. Uh, I need to commit a lot of stuff. Oh, I forgot. Well, this is easy. I'm going to say eh. to fix the HR element. On the drop down menu, copy related pad. There we go. Next, I did a lot of things here. I fixed uh, the actual links and added the drop down menu. Let's say, uh, if I took and there we go. And that was done on navigation EGS. Wait, not that. There we go. There we go. Uh, what did I do here? Okay. Okay.
Okay. I can include this, uh, this tree in the year. Oh, I f forgot that I was working with several there, but ah, I guess it doesn't matter that much. Let's see. Uh, next, what did I do here? Uh, Galerias Comunidad. Okay. This file is Galeria Yes. And that's it. Let's uh, push everything. There we go. So all work is committed. Let's close everything. Just to just to be fresh, you know. And now, the hardest part of the job comes into play. And the hardest part of the job is to think. And that's why nobody wants to do it, because it's the hardest part of all. So let's see. This is the original version of the website. Now, let me see. I think the proportions for this look way better here with the new Bootstrap version rather than the old one. So let's open one and let's take a look at this. Okay, I'm going to remove this because it doesn't have to be anymore. Uh, I already have everything up here. Um, I may like to keep this and the emoji and the HR. And this section here needs to become uh, an actual partial, you know. Okay, so let's open. Uh, from the old version of the code. Go to Galerias, and this one is called Activación, no, Instalaciones. That should be the first one. So this is it. Here we go. There we go. Main content, okay. These are the social media buttons flying. And here is it. Here, here it is. This is the main menu. Well, Let's say the secondary menu, this blue thing here, that's here. It's this one here. See? Uh, Nadbar light. Nadbar, it's a secondary Nadbar. Okay. It's a button, button outline, primary. Uh, okay. So this code is no longer be there. It's no longer going to be there. Uh, and this code is what I actually care about. This is the, the main view. So I, what I'm going to do to make a main view again. What do I need for that? Let's go to the views. And I'm going to start making, uh, let's start making partial files. You know, that's going to be uh, the best approach maybe. Oh, well, you know what? No. Let's see. Maybe I do have gallery here. Yes, I do have. Or oh, whatever other page I have. I could pick one, you know, and delete everything else that I don't really need. What? Well, the contact page is pretty simple to understand. So maybe I should copy this one and paste it here.
Where is it? Views includes contact. What 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 happened? Oh, it was moved into the contact page. Uh, it's fine. Uh, let's go to the the contact page. Should not be here. So I'm going to rename this to one. Galería encabezado, or maybe uh, head, galería head, maybe mixing Spanish and uh, and English is not such a good idea, you know. But let's say uh, uh, galería título, or oh, header, maybe. Yeah, that would be fitting. Galeria header is going to be a, a partial file. No, wait. If it's going to be a partial file while I'm copy and pasting all of that, nah, I'm, I'm wrong. Uh, this will be yeah template, maybe. And it's not going to be an include, but it's not going to be a static content either. So why should I make this file? Maybe I need a new folder called Galleria. Okay. Yeah, let's move Galleria template here. Although I don't need no, I just need to to call it Galleria because it's already on its own folder already. So maybe call it Galleria may uh, may like to may make more sense at this point. So let's begin removing stuff that I don't need. Okay, let's see. Uh, this is the head tag, the navigation menu. The Facebook and, and WhatsApp buttons. After that, I have this a contact form, a dip. I'm going to remove all that. And that's basically it. Uh, this is the bare minimum that I need for a page. Okay. Uh, maybe I should use your uh, header one. You know, Galeria dash something, uh, and I need to put here uh, the first one. The first Galeria is going to be Instalaciones, maybe. You know, uh, this is going to be removed anyway because I want to build the entire thing around this. I want to actually see it rendered. That's why. So I go. I just going to. Put uh, this here, you know, uh, and this should be the first, uh, the first uh, endpoint I'm going to build. So, without doing anything else, uh, I may like to use this view and render it. So, in order to do that, first design. Since I'm working with the model view controller, and the galleries are going to be dynamic. They don't really fit too much on the current router files that I do have. The router files are contact form that has to do anything with the contact forms, the static content to render the static content of the page, and this user's view uh, router that I'm not really using right now. So here in the routes, see this. I, I may use this one. Uh, maybe this one. So let's say I already have this. Let's pick up the static content like this. Let's copy this code. Let's make a new file here. That's going to be galleria.javascript, you know. And here I'm going to name this galleria to the controller that doesn't exist yet. 
I may like it to call the RIA controller. In the future, I'm going to make this file. And let's say uh, the first one will be the main Galleria page is already being rendered as a static content. I do not need that. What I'm going to need is installaciones. That should be the first one. So here, uh, I haven't called anything, anyone, but I guess that my path should be this one here. Because my entire path should be um, Galleria dash installaciones. And the next step I need to do here, it doesn't exist. This doesn't, the controller doesn't exist yet. So maybe I should move here and copy the first controller, you know, like this, and make a new file here for Galleria. So yeah, yeah, they share the same name. Uh, for remind you, mind you. All of these files, although they share the same name, they belong to different folders. So in the end, they are very different. They do different stuff. Anyway, static content, no. Your ra your your path to the view is going to be, uh, you are inside the views folder, go to Galleria, dash, and your the file should be Galleria actually. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, no, it's not going to be this one. It's going to be like this, you know? And this doesn't even need to be here. Galleria doesn't need to be here. Uh, oh no, yes, it does, because it, this is not a path. This is a, a file system path not a route path so it, it needs to be here and this is not a path so it's going to be galleria galleria the name is pretty much the same as the folder so that's a little confusing maybe maybe i should uh, reconsider moving that to the root folder, I don't, I'm not sure. Let's just leave it like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to need all of this, obviously. That's going to be just the same. The path, uh, now here's where it's going to become a, a little confusing, you know. But not really, I can just send whatever path I already sent for this and for Galleria. So if we go back to the routes for the static content and look for get Galleria, there we go. I can just use this one, you know, and forget about it. Think about it. There we go. And that's it. I'm going to render this view with these attributes but I need to add more attributes here. Why? And I need to add attributes that only uh, work with this particular view. Okay? Yet at this time, The path is not going to be Galleria. Well, the real one, the real path is not going to be Galleria. The full path will be Galleria dash something, maybe, you know? Because the endpoints are going to be like this, for example. Uh, no, here. It reads uh, Galerias dash installaciones. It's plural, actually. Yeah, it's Galerias. I need to rename something here. Let's say the endpoint seems to point at Galerias. 
Maybe it would be a good idea to rename everything in plural. Or maybe not. Let's see. Let's see how it works. Because if I put, uh, if I modify this, the main menu is not going to be highlighted on Galleria anymore, like this, for example. Photos and videos is not going to be highlighted. Okay. Mm hmm. And actually renaming the option to photos and videos, I may like to step back on that one because of the fact that uh, the actual path is different, you know? And the right way to do things will be to actually rename all the files to photos and videos or something like that, not just change the main menu option. Uh. Or the easiest way will be to just modify the, the menu option to Galleria or Galleries or Galerias. Uh, okay. I'm going on on a, on a bio break, be right back.
And we're back. Well, where were we? Oh, yeah, decisions about naming stuff. Well, mm, this is going to be the Galleria controller. You know what? The naming doesn't bother me that much because it just appears here. And the highlighting could be... Um, it's not really an issue, you know? Because most of the time, the main, the, this menu is not going to appear and the name is going to be here. So, uh. Anyway. Where were we? Okay, so I created the controller. Uh, I am thinking about the path that I need to pass down and I'm not going to change this path uh, because this is going to manage what element is going to be highlighted on the main menu up here. You see? There we go. And uh, although the drop down is going to appear from time to time, uh, most of the time I need this up here, basically. That's the important one. Anyway, mm. let me think. There we go. Uh, what else? The naming convention for the routes is going to be Galleria. So, if I go back to the code here and check out the Galleria's, uh, this path is incomplete, you know, because I haven't opened FJS. I already have uh, the route file. It's going to be called Galleria. But I haven't used it yet, so I'm going to use it. Let's use it right now. Let's add a new route file called Galleria. And I'm going to save that on Galleria Router. You see? And now I'm going to copy paste this line uh, and use just the same. Galleria router, you see, and there we go. But this particular router is going to be followed by the first part, Galerias, it says. Mm, that would be the easiest way to do it. There we go. It's going to be called Galerias, and this is going to help me because now I can differentiate between the, the view name and the, and the actual path name, you know. Uh, plural for the router path part. So when I get to the router in the here, in the routes gallery, here, uh, I am already, I am already in dash gallery as plural. So by the time I get here, I am really here. Dash gallery as plural, dash installaciones. That's the actual path, basically. The full path will be that. Okay. Um, so I am in dash galerias, dash installaciones in order to get here. I'm using this controller here uh, from Galeria controller, get installaciones. If I go there, uh, I can say get home. No, you need to be renamed to get. Is get installaciones is going to be exported. It's going to be used down here. Get installaciones. You see, get installaciones here. You're going to be used here. Uh, whenever somebody tries to reach this point, it's going to get to the to this view, Galleria dash Galleria, which is this view over here. Uh, there is a Galleria folder, and this is the Galleria view, and that should be rendered. So let's see if I can actually access to that endpoint. Instalaciones, and I cannot do it. Maybe the name is wrong. Uh, it's Galerias Instalaciones. Let's see the route folder. Galeria, Galeria. No, it seems to be just fine, according to this. 
Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Or something crash. Yes. Something crash. What happened? Uh oh I'm missing something. Okay, where uh uh router Okay, router use requires a middleware function but got an object. So I'm missing the uh, Okay. So this is wrong, okay. Uh, the controller may not be okay. Get instalaciones. There we go. It's not working anyway. There we go. Let's see what uh, I want a file that I actually modified. Uh, it reads uh, anonymous. Maybe this in AppJS line 27, column 5. Uh, 27, column. I, I am actually there. Let me see. Here. Uh, use. Maybe the name is wrong. I don't think so. Maybe the path to that is wrong. There must be a galleria.js inside routes. Let's see. Galleria.js there. That, that's there. Okay. Uh, here there is a problem, I guess. App use a path. Galleria's dot comma and the router. This, this is an import. Let's see what the router. Oh, wait a minute. I know one. The, the route file is not exporting anything. I need to export something here. That's why. Uh, I think we can open another route file. Oh, come on. I'm missing this line. This is the line that exports the router, so it's not available. No matter, everything seems to be right. We need to export this element here. Uh, the router is not being exported any, anyway. So I don't have access for that here. So Galleria router is not doing anything. You know, that was the issue. Okay. I wonder if, uh, okay, it seems to be running now. Again. Instalaciones. And everything seems to be running properly. No, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, it's rendering something. Uh, I got a lot of. Let's uh, let's see the code. And let's let's figure out why everything seems to be broken. Mm. Picture references seems to be broken. Why? Uh, okay, the bootstrap link is here. My stash sheet is here. Oh, but I'm not able to see it. I know why. Look at this. It's trying to access that using this. Galerias dash stash sheet. So it's trying to open everything from the Galleria's standpoint, because this is a relative path. Yeah, forgot about that. Well, what can we do? Uh, uh, if I am, well, the path is relative, you see. Uh, so yeah. Hmm, think. Maybe you know what? An easier way to fix this will be to just get rid of the Galerias part on the app.js section, you know, and only use what I define here, for example, like this. That will be the easiest way. Forget about this, you know. And pray that I don't share the name with somebody else. Let's say like this. 
There we go. Maybe that works. Let's see. Uh, well, obviously because the pad, the fully, the full pad is going to contain galerias. So I need to modify that one to, you know. Uh, let's see. I don't need this. And I need that. Okay, the route installation is that fine. Here, uh, it's on the root now. This is the root. It's going to read installaciones. And here, uh, I well, this is the render I need to do. Uh, everything seems to be fine actually. This is the controller. This is the round. Have GS and the views. But here, obviously, I'm not going to be able to see this. Uh, the includes. Oh wait, I'm not going to be able to locate all of that. Why? Because I um. Okay, I am up one, then into includes. No, I should be able to enter that. It's, it's just fine. Okay, I should be able to render everything. The links. Let's say let's do this. There we go. It's rendering properly. That's fine. Uh, the thing I'm missing here uh, will be. It's rendering just fine. Uh, I am missing the galerias part because if I do that, all, all of my my relative links are going to suffer. If I make that um, a requirement on the include, you know. Another way to fix that would be to get into this thing here, you know into every single partial and make sure using a yes and JavaScript uh, ask for the path that is being run on and basically use the ternary if statement to choose um, the right path uh, for this basically or maybe use a path uh, attribute when rendering the website in order to concatenate with that uh, the right path, basically the root path, basically. Let me think. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. I wonder if I can make a, a relative path that assumes where the root folder is. Maybe I can save the views here, but on the route file, I don't really need, or may I say on the app JS file, what is the app? Yes, this one here. I don't need to put this. Because this is the thing that is going to make everything wrong. However, I need to make sure that the gallery names do not share the same name with the static content pages. For example, the Casa Niños gallery must not be the same. So no, I'm going to need this in the end. Galerias in plural. Yeah. I think I should do that actually. Uh, router get installaciones. It's going to, do, to render this controller here. It's going to pass Galeria. That's fine. Uh, and uh, Galeria, Galeria. So that means that I, I could not. Okay, so it's going to render. Is it rendering correctly? No, but it's rendering. What I need to do here is to open the partials that manage several stuff here. For example, I need to open the head partial to fix the bootstrap link to the C, uh, I mean, to fix the CSS style, um, style sheet reference to the right one. 
uh, on the main navigation. Uh, I don't need to modify anything there. I need uh, open the optional JavaScript maybe. And that's it. I think that's it. Let's try with the head and the optional JavaScript, you know. The rest may stay the same, I believe. Okay, let's go to the let's go to the build folder. The include folder. The head. Here. Here I'm going to make a stupid change here. This is the issue. This path over here is static and relative, so which means that this is not going to work. In order to make it work, I need to do this. If I do that, the issue is going to be that I no longer going to make this file work for somebody else, for everybody else. But I'm going to make that change and I'm going to optional JavaScript, you know, and I'm going to optional JavaScript doesn't need anything because it's a, no, no, that's the only thing I need to change then. Well, as, uh, assuming I'm right, there we go. And the pictures are broken too. Why? Because if I inspect the code, I'm going to see that the, that all the pictures are relative, re relative lengths too. If I want the pictures to be just the same, I need to go uh, to fix the pictures. I need to open the gallery view here. Oh no, I need to open the footer file. Okay, let's open, not the gallery. I need to include the footer. Where is the footer? There we go. And here is where all the pictures are being rendered. Now here, if I want to fix the Instagram page, the Instagram icon, need to add this. And if I want to fix the Facebook image, I need to add this. Basically uh, saying, you know what? Go back one folder and then go into the images folder and then render the picture. If I do this, it's going to be fixed here and the navigation too. Uh, the issue here is that I'm not going to be able to use, I'm breaking everyone else like this. Uh, well, it seems to be working here. I wonder why. Okay, that's freaking weird. This should not be working. Why is it working? Well, I'm going to, uh, I'm, I'm very confused now. Okay, let's see. Let's go back here. This is the code that I modify. Uh, getting back a couple. I wonder how, why can you render that? I guess that since I already reached the, the, the root folder, maybe that's the reason. Hello, baby. Ah, okay, boy. Uh, I'm going to take another bio break to eat something. And I'm going to be back later. Mira lo que llevo. Desde que cierre. No, dos horas. Mira. Eh, este es este es lo nuevo, ¿no? Taller. ¿No? Pero ya estoy trabajando con lo de galerías, mira. Se va a llamar ahora fotos y videos. ¿Eh? Y esta, la principal, que te lleva también a los demás. Pero por lo general la gente va a querer agarrar tal vez esto. Está en blanco porque la estoy haciendo apenas, ¿no? Pero ya funciona, ya viste. ¿Sí? Aquí mi plan es hacer una y hacer la dinámica con el modelo vista controlador. Y si logro hacer eso, lo único que tengo que hacer es agarrar el archivo de datos que sería este, de, bueno, no lo tengo, pero digamos que es este, agarrar un archivo de datos y dentro de este arreglo, meter en objetos cada foto, güey, ya, ¿no? Y ya con eso se debería de poder renderear la, la vista. Pero mira, quedó bien el menú, ¿no? Uh, 
Ah, dari nol. Sí, porque Pinterest ya vi que no utiliza los renglones de HTML. O sea, no, no acomoda sus elementos usando rows. Los, todos sus elementos de Pinterest. Son absolutos, me parece. Por ejemplo, oh Dios. Pocona. Ay, fue así. Traigas. ¿Cuál? Esta. 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 Ah. Ah, sí, esa es otra de mis waifu. Sí, porque hace taekwondo. Es la rival de la Chunli. La rival. ¿Eh? Ah. ah, güey. Ah. Ah, no, ella no es caderona. Ella es piernuda. Porque hace taekwondo. Sí, porque está piernuda. Que hace taekwondo. Y taekwondo es patadas principalmente. Eh, no. Bueno, anyway. Aquí está. Vamos a darle inspección a esta madre. Y vamos a darle una foto. ¿Lo viste? Ahí. Para esa pinche foto. Déjame ver. Ahí está, ¿no? Uh, no veo el styling aquí, fíjate. Pero aquí abajo están los estilos, ¿ya viste? Position Absolute. Y ahí está la clave, güey. Esta foto tiene su posición de forma absoluta. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que no está siendo acomodada. Como, mira, aquí vamos a ver. HT, no sería CSS. Position Absolute. Ya vamos, nada más. Nuestro... Y hay ejemplos cagados, güey. Ay, absoluto. Ahí está, ¿ya viste? El rojo, este es absoluto, güey. ¿Ya viste? Los que se acomodan son los azules. ¿Ya viste? Pero el amarillo no. El amarillo es absoluto. Entonces, tú le dices dónde colocarlo. ¿Cómo? Con estas coordenadas. ¿Viste? Entonces, el JavaScript de Painter pone todas las fotos, son absolutas. ¿No? Pero se las acomoda, el, el JavaScript las acomoda para que parezca que están ordenadas normal. Así es como pueden acomodar la, el renglón de abajo arriba. No es un renglón. Cada foto es por separado y el algoritmo de JavaScript las acomoda. ¿No? Porque si no, por ejemplo, la foto más alta de este renglón dejaría espacios en blanco. O sea, esta foto no debería estar aquí, debería estar abajo. Así como nos pasaba a nosotros. No lo sé, pero yo sospecho que, por ejemplo, esta foto tiene un ancho y un alto, ¿no? Con esos dos valores calculas el píxel que está hasta abajo. Y ya sabes ahí dónde pegar lo que sigue, ¿ya viste? Todo esto, todo esto está posicionado de forma absoluta, no está utilizando el sistema de renglones de HTML. ¿no? Y, y todo el acomodo se está haciendo en el backend. Y ya dice, ah, ok, esta foto la puedo mover donde sea porque es absoluto, muévela en estas coordenadas. Y todo eso es dinámico, porque mira, si yo muevo, yo muevo esta madre, eh, no se mueve, no se acomoda, no es, esta madre no es responsivo, ya viste. Hasta que llega un punto, pao, ya viste, y volvió a renderear todo. Cuando detecto un cambio del view, que ahí no, no cambia, ya viste. Hasta que suelto. Esto no es responsivo. Lo responsivo, entre comillas, lo renderean desde atrás, desde el backend. Por eso, porque si es responsivo real, cuando yo le muevo, ¿ya viste? No, hasta que yo me detengo, ¿ya viste? Hasta que detecta un cambio el backend, es cuando ya renderea todo de nuevo, pues. ¿Qué vamos?